Monroe County leaders responding tonight after claims that Child Protective Services is failing to protect children like Greece toddler Brooke, Brooke Stagels, who died of abuse back in November. Now, the Federation of Social Workers released new numbers they say show CPS workers are understaffed and overworked. 13 Wines, Amy Hudak just spoke with the Commissioner of Human Services who is responding to these claims. Amy? Don, this is all being brought into question after the death of three-year-old Greece toddler Brooke Stagels. Her family has maintained from day one that Child Protective Services failed to act. They failed to enter the home and they say they failed to even ask Brooke questions about what was going on in her home environment. Brooke's father and his girlfriend are now facing criminal charges for her death. Brooke's family, specifically her grandfather, believes if CPS workers were not so overwhelmed with so many cases, Brooke wouldn't have slipped through the cracks. Child welfare experts recommend no more than 12 cases each per CPS worker. However, in Monroe County, that number is 30, 40, 50, even 60 plus leaving the Federation of Social Workers to call CPS a department in crisis. The Commissioner of Human Services for the county does not believe those numbers are problematic. She says there's no gold standard for how many cases a CPS worker can handle and that these workers are resilient and dedicated. Office of Children and Family Services also recognize that there's nuances and intricacies with all of these cases. I don't think that we can make the assumption that every single case that our case workers work with are extraordinarily complicated. The New York State Office of Child and Family Services feels that anything 15 or above is excessive. So there's a strong consensus about what is doable in terms of caseload sizes. 13 Wham News has also learned that the New York State Department of Family and Child Protective Services is investigating the death of three-year-old Brooke Stagels. We do not yet have a timeline for when that investigation will be complete, but we will bring you the latest developments as they unfold. Live in Rochester, Amy Hudak, 13